Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Jay Holloway. Today, we're going to be discussing last week's fragrances. So, as you can see, we are back on the vanity. This is the I really don't feel like recording, but I must commit to my obligations. <laughs> and I literally just kind of woke up and said, you know what, let me get the damn video out. So, here we are. So, last Monday, I went with the lovely... Paloma Picasso. This is the EDT. I actually really, really enjoy this scent. Something very vintage and classic. It's a good one. And then after the day was done, I went with Fleur's Mystic Person. This is almost akin to like the Glossier's and the Your Skin But Better. And sticking with the theme of your skin but better and powdery i went with francesca bianchi's angel's dust this is my favorite from her first wave of perfumes i knew i loved this and i had to get it i had the oil but the oil has since gone and we are a little bit under half and this is a very strong fragrance you must love powder and then for that evening, I wanted to go with Ivory Musk. And I think this is, is this Latafa? No, this is Fragrance World. I bought this. It's called Ivory Musk because there is Musk Therapy by Initio. And as much as I like that, I cannot justify the price of that fragrance. And I will justify it any level of bullshit to spend money but for that my spirit in my pocket said no Wednesday was very much an opulent red day I don't know what this Latafa fragrance is actually duping it's a mix between Rouge Malachite and maybe Angel I mean I'm sorry Alien by Mugler but I really like this I really love Opulent Musk, the white one too. And still keeping it fresh, powdery, and clean. Parfums de Marley, Valaya. She's beautiful. Love her. Love her down. And y'all, I'm still trying to get down with this. This is Thursday's fragrance of the day. Valentino, Green Extravaganza. It's not bad. I just found out that it has like vetiver and coffee and I think the longer it sits the better it gets but it still is just like okay we're here and then that evening I had to wash away the sins and get purified and chance of fresh I love this this is a beautiful clean green scent perfect for this time and Lord knows how many bottles of this I've went through, but I love it. And a recent acquisition for Friday was Centaur Noir. Now, I wore this for Good Friday and to test it out. And also, Cowboy Carter came out. And I was also traveling to my grandfather's for Easter. So I wanted to wear Centaur Noir, baby top flight period so that was my Friday scent and during the nights while I was there I wore Sol de Janeiro as like my nighttime scent after my shower so Saturday I wore Cherry Shock which is a rendition of Tom Ford's Electric Cherry and I wore Vanilla Sex by Tom Ford. That was a layering combo for Saturday. Sunday the day, which is Easter, I wore Devana, a lovely iris powdery scent. I really enjoy this. And this was like my favorite from Sylvain Delacorte who used to be at Guerlain. And 
then Sunday night after I return home, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess, aka Princess O'Fresh. So that was my week in fragrances. I hope you had a lovely Easter and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.